What does it all mean? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> um, I've seen it nine times now. That's not That's enough. It's, it's enough. Jack and I met on a magical night out when I humiliated <laughs> myself more than I've ever had oh, yeah, before. Was... It was probably the best moment of my life. <laughs> Maybe the worst <laughs> of Jen's. Mine. <laughs> For the first time ever like in my career, I never assume anyone knows who I am. Yeah. And I saw... Harrison Ford and like J.J. Abrams, and I was like, I was like, yeah, this is fine. We're all we're all co-workers. Like I can just go. So I was like, be right back, guys. I'm gonna go say hi to the Star Wars dudes. And I approached their table and was like, <laughs> <laughs> and they all, the whole table was just like. <laughs> and so I realized while I was dancing, I was like, they have no idea who I am. <laughs> And so I just turned around and walked back. <laughs> Dying. I, cause I've done this show with Harrison Ford, so he's like the only A-list Hollywood star that I know. I mean, he's the only one oh, that I man. have. So she had just been blanked, and I was like, hey, it's all right, I'll go say hi to Harrison. <laughs> Everyone in the group was like, Jack, don't do this. You will be humiliated. I was like, no. Nah, and Harrison are tight. They, they genuinely had no idea. So I get up, I walk over, and at this point I'm like, oh God, maybe he won't remember me. <laughs> and I will be humiliated as well. I walked over, and literally as I walked over, he was like, hey, Jack! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Caesar Flickerman yeah. is kind of, he's very kind of over the top. And <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I love your teeth. Thank you. God. Thank you. Actually, they are very good teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, but yeah. for real. Yeah. Uh, because when the movie came out, yeah. people uh, tweeted me and said, oh, that character, is it you? Like, as in me. Right. And <laughs> I thought, well, oh, that's just stupid. But then I read an interview with you yeah. where you were talking about the elements that went into it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? And I got a name <laughs> check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, you know, when you create a character, you steal from... I'm sorry, I've sort of lost my voice today. I apologize. Dude, that's fine. <clears throat> I was talking about you all day today, and yeah. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, um, I... When you create a character, you, you, you know, you sort of cull from all different sources and everything like that. So we could say that, that he's a sort of... He's a cross between Wayne Newton and uh, a little piece of you, tiny, a little piece, tiny. tiny. The intelligence oh. is yours. Nice, oh. nice recovery. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. You'll and, be back. Yeah. I, <laughs> and and and, the, and Jiminy Glick. Oh yeah. You know oh. the wonderful thing that Martin Short does. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. She often, right before a take, would turn to me and ask me if I liked having sex with kangaroos or <laughs> <laughs> anything along those lines. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you never really know what's going to come out of her mouth. <laughs> and your answer was absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what Australians do. Yeah. Australian and proud. <laughs> uh, the next picture. This is incredible. That so there he is. Hollywood heartthrob, sex symbol, glamour, <laughs> sexiest man in the world. Wow. Who could have guessed? <laughs> who could have guessed? Looking at this. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I saw that. Oh. How old are you? It's that moment where I'm like, I should probably smile with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you had a mouth reduction since then? I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's most of your... You look like a hinged person. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a yeah, lot right I there. felt like I was a pretty cool kid in high school, too. How old were you there? No, oh, probably two years ago. <laughs> You had that thing that a lot of people, I think, have that embarrassment of that their parent is a teacher in the school. But you took that embarrassment and you took it to a, a different level with your mom as a teacher. Yeah, I had my mom for uh, personal development slash sex education. <laughs> See, that, that's terrible. You should have been excused that class. Learnt a lot, learnt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, I remember it coming up and they're like, yeah, you're going to have your mum for a sex, sex education. And then the first class we had together, uh, she handed out these, these cards to everyone that had some form of sexually transmitted disease. And for whatever reason, she felt the need to pick me first and stand up. And she said, Liam, what do you have? And I said, <laughs> well, mum, I have chlamydia. <laughs> Thanks for this. This is awesome. <laughs> but, so here's the thing. Uh, Elizabeth Banks, you, you know, you do all these things. You produce, you direct, you act, you write. 
but I don't think we've had this before, uh, where someone is come on the show and you invented a board game. Like not just invented it, it got made. Yeah, uh, yes, that is true. What? Do yes, I have it? Do I, I have it? Yes, here it is. Yes. Well, I was. Um, yeah, when I was getting married. Yep, yeah, that's it. Unveiled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a bachelorette party yeah. game. It's a, you know, it's a party in a box, guys. Yeah. Um, but no, but look, it is an actual board. Look, there's, yeah. a, there's our board. No, and yeah. I think the pieces are little shoes, right? Uh, yeah. Let me check. Uh, I think so. Little shoes. Yeah, little yeah. shoes. Uh huh. And yeah. There's dice. Yeah. So how did this come about? So I, I, you know, you know, when you're in that time of your life when everyone you know is getting married, I was in that time. I was probably, you know, going to 15 weddings or something. And I, I, I'm pretty good at throwing a bachelorette party. So I was throwing bachelorette parties all the time, which is what a bachelorette or hen party, I think you guys call them, right? Yeah, you call them hen, hen party. party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we would do like a scavenger hunt or you know all kinds of things. And and one day, I, I don't know, I it, I we met a guy who made. Um, Erotic games, <laughs> like for a business, and he basically thought he could um, sell a, a bachelorette party game too, with that had a little some naughty, erotic elements to it. So yeah, it was like a way to organize a bachelorette evening around a game night. So it was like early game night stuff. Yeah, those are the cards. And yeah, how the, does the, the game work? I mean, yeah. You can read some out. I'm not. Okay. Gonna, they're quite out there. I, uh, I yeah. cannot believe that you found this game. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. So some of these cards. So you have like a say card, which is something that you have to that you say out loud. So, um, oh my God, I I don't know if I can even ask. Yeah, you. ask. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can ask this. Why not? Hang on, let's have a look. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll ask. Um, all right, Jennifer. This oh, is a no. horrible idea. <laughs> this, this says, this is a full question, okay? And here's the thing, you can, it says you can play or pass. So you don't have to answer this. You okay. can pass this if you want to. Okay. The question is, <laughs> do you spit or swallow? <laughs> if this question <laughs> makes no sense to you, return to start. <laughs> do you like to play or pass? <laughs> don't think about it. Yeah, I can... Just pass. You can, you can be talking about I mean, you could be talking about wine or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would never spit out wine. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Answer. Yeah. How lovely having that paycheck for what, I mean, 10 years. But was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it nice? But, yeah. yeah. But, but, <laughs> yeah. But, money. but yeah. was it, was it in any way a relief when it finally came to an end? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's time to move on. As yeah. hard as it is, that's the, the tricky thing about. I mean, that's what we do for. We go off for a couple months and we have great friendships, and then you don't see each other again. And that one was a family because we. I lived in Ireland basically, and it wasn't just the show; it was the life. I had children there. Um, my daughter had an Irish accent, affected <laughs> Irish accent, <laughs> <laughs> totally affected. Um, but truly, we. Uh, my feet were just in Belfast. The community up there is so beautiful, and I yeah. made so many good friends. So it was more for me, just. The life, rather than the show itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's really the hardest thing to walk away. From. Oh, it's so. I'm so sorry you're not here, but I I love you, Viola Davis. So I'm so thrilled oh, you're on the thank show. Thank you. I'll take the love. Oh, do do do. <laughs> and uh, you know, we, we've been talking about lockdown. You went full lockdown. You got the dog. I got the dog, Graham, and let me tell you something. Before that time, I said we are not having any dogs in this house. We're gonna have a pristine <laughs> house. I'm not picking up dog shit. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but let me tell you, the minute that puppy came, I'm up at three in the morning with my hazmat suit picking up doggy poop. <laughs> Kissing this puppy, it has been an elixir. Of, <laughs> it's just eased my anxiety. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It takes you. It, you have to worry about something else. It's great. Yeah, I mean, when I'm wiping his ass, that's <laughs> another story. I mean, and I'm, um, I'm a very serious and passionate and committed ass wiper. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, in New Jersey, your home. Is that still, I mean, if, if, I, if you said I'm going home now, would you go back to your childhood bedroom? Yeah. 
Well, that's it. That's your house. Yeah, that, those Pepto Bismol colored walls. And... <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I I've only moved for work, and so it's always been very temporary. Where I lived in Chelsea, New York, for a while, and then I lived in Atlanta, Georgia, for a while, and now I'm I've been here for a week and a half, and I'll be here for six months. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> and, but now New Jersey, you're from New Jersey, and when you were filming West Side Story, yeah. New Jersey royalty came to call. Yes, uh, he, lifted, who he actually that? descended from the heaven, <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Wow. What? Bruce. I know. Bruce. Actually, Bruce. actually. <laughs> and yeah, Bruce Springsteen came three times, and he came to see me sing I Feel Pretty, and he had his, his aviators on. He's like, gotta see the Jersey girl sing, and I just peed my pants. <laughs> and there it is, yeah, I was losing oh. my mind. I couldn't go, that day I could not go up and talk to him. It was him and Stephen Sondheim sitting next to each other. And I was like, what? why am I here? Uh, <laughs> but was it, hang on, was that you? still the same day that Barack Obama came as well? Barack Obama came. Wow. Uh, uh, I like yeah. that he gets third billing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also house, appearing. In this house it goes Bruce, Steve, Barack. <laughs> no, it was, it, was, it was Barack Obama, Bruce Springsteen, John Williams, all on the same day. <laughs> it was just absolutely ridiculous. But how did it work? Do they sit and work with monitors or were they like in the they set? They watched us, um, they watched Gustavo Dudamel, who's an incredible conductor, a maestro in his, in his own right, truly. And he, they watched him conduct the Mambo with the New York Philharmonic. And it's, I'm sitting there on the couch and Michelle Obama's next to me and Bruce Springsteen's there <laughs> and Barack Obama and John Williams and Steven Spielberg and John Williams is talking to Gustavo Dudamel, and John turns to Barack Obama and says, well, what do you think? And I'm like, well, what does it matter what he thinks he was the president of the United States? <laughs> 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 just, just the most ridiculous, I can't even believe I was sitting in that it room. It sounds like you're describing one of those really, like, Fever catch, dreams. like a catch <laughs> artwork you see at a hotel of the most famous people <laughs> ever. They're, all, they're all sitting there playing poker. Playing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, all the, they're the dogs playing poker. Yeah. It was just, I can't even, to the, I, just telling this story, I'm like, where, what was I doing? But also, I like that Michelle Obama only showed up in I that bit. She was holding the coats. No, like, <laughs> who, was the yeah. tall, who was the tallest per one of them? It was definitely Barack Obama. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. great. But I have to say, Michelle held, held her own in that. Yeah. Yeah, she was there and she was tall, too. I used to, I used to have in my diary a celebrity height chart <laughs> uh, as, a, as a teenager, where I would um, write down the heights of my favorite celebrities and the uh, difference to my height. To yourself. Right. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. That was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all going on it. Yes. I'm five foot two. <laughs> Just so you know.